Hey everybody, this is Joby, and uh, today we're going to talk about this uh, Moon Blessed Pool. The, uh, it's like a antiquity item. It's a, the Moon Blessed Ceremonial Pool. I know a lot of people were having trouble finding it, and uh, I know exactly where to get it. And just a moment, we're going to talk about that. But first, I'd like to ask everybody to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And please hit the notification bell because that's the best way to support the channel is to get notified and watch the videos every single day. And I put out a video every single day, no matter what. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. And you can hit me up on Xbox One. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Xbox One, North American server. If you want, you can join my guild. We can run around every single day. If anybody would like to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal link in the upper right corner of my banner on my homepage of my YouTube channel and also in the About section. All my content will always be free, but all donations are greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get started. Um, this is, of course, an antiquity. I'm standing in the middle of it. If you want to get out, you have to not look and then go this way. This is activated. To deactivate it, you just turn it off like that. I think it's a really pretty. It's not a Nord item, so it doesn't really fit with the uh, <laughs> the decor of the house, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head to Southern Elsewhere, and I'm going to show you exactly where to get this. It's really easy. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are at beautiful Moonlit Cove Delve, um, Southern Elsewhere which of course is uh, here, there's Tide Home. What you want to do is come to this Western Plains Way Shrine and then ride straight over here to this delve, as you can see. And um, you just come down the beach and through that uh, archway. As you can see right here, there's a jewelry box. Pick that up. A garnet. Oh my. Okay, so we go around the corner. There might be another the urn here there is not so we're going to go inside now so i'll see you guys inside okay so we're inside the delve now and um the place where I, you just get it out of urns and i was just walking up this way and like the third urn that i looked in had the lead i probably won't i mean i i did search it so it's i mean i did uh, dig it up so it's possible I could get it again, but probably unlikely. But I'll take the corundum. All you have to do is just search these urns, and there's lots of them, and then you'll be able to get the lead for the, for the pools. You know, there's just so many over here. If you're not having any luck, you might want to log out, try again get a lot of stuff so it's always worth it a lot of uh, plans and different things like that kill these all these dudes here's one here Volcan's tears just go along these walls there's lots of them but like I said this is where I got it um, I've seen lots of people say that they've got it from either a jewelry box or an urn Here's one. Hearty garlic chowder. I do not need that. I've actually had that for quite some time. That's one of the first recipes. We can go back over this way. And uh, there will be urns here. I know it seems kind of boring. But if you do want that, that pool, the, the antiquities lead, which I think is one of the better. It's definitely one of the better ones. This is where you get it. Moonlit Cove. Inside urns. So you don't have to be uh, super high DPS to worry about it. You can just get it from here. And these all respawn. Uh, you know, you can log out. And then you can uh, log back in. You could do it on multiple characters even. And that way you can find it. So good luck to everybody with the antiquities hunting i hope if uh if you like it you'll be able to get it will look great in the new house and that's about it for today because it's confirmed that this is the place where you get it so please everybody give me a like 
and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content and uh, leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you'd like to see if you have any ideas about a video I might just do it you can join me on discord there's a link in the description hit me up on Xbox one my name is Coyote C H A O T E Y all you have to do is send me a message add me as a friend and if you want you can join my guild upper echelon mediocrity uh, we have 30 people online with 166 members one member pending uh, we're running around and today we're doing southern elsewhere to try to get everybody's 30 quests for the dragon guards up I've made videos on that before and uh, the stuff you get out of the box is amazing a lot dragon blood dragon bile I mean if we look look how much I have it's crazy supplies no materials if you go to the dragon room it's a, like 200 in my inventory and 321 in my craft bag and you can see the dragon ball same thing 246 768 dragon's blood 244 674 you get a lot of other um, that's every day you get that you get one or two of each one and then you also get other reagents you get the motifs the um, new moon acolyte motifs and uh, if you want to see how many of those I have, because I've been doing it every day, let's look at my bank. I've given a bunch away too, so uh, they're not all here. All right, so if we start here, belts, and then look, four boots, bows, chest, gloves, four maces, six shields, four shoulders, staves, three swords. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's the last of the new moon. And I've given a lot away, so, um, you know, the only place I'm getting them is from that box. So you can see it's definitely worth it to do it. So join me. Send me a message. Leave a comment. And until that time, let's get paid.